Greetings gun enthusiasts. Today we have what I hope will be an informative comparison to Est. We are pitting Black Hills Ammunition's Honey Badger Load non-expanding copper solids against Remington Ultimate Defense Compact handgun, which is a 125 grain jacketed hollow point bullet. And I'm just gonna use two layers of denim this time because I wanna make sure and get expansion with the Remington's. We got about a 17 inch column of gel set up. Two rounds loaded in the LCR. First, I'm going to test the Remington. Good expansion, good capture, classic hollow point performance. Now I'm going to shoot, see if I can get space here to test the Honey Badger just to the Put that in just to the uh, to the right and below the Remington. And a very similar damage track, very similar penetration depth. Oh my, you almost can't tell which is which until you get out to where the bullets are and then obviously <laughs> one's an expanding hollow point and one is not. But just look at those two tracks, those two wound tracks in the gel. They are remarkably similar. Maybe the Remington is just a little bit wider, just a touch wider. Expansion cavity, temporary cavity, whatever you want to call that, but the, uh, the track in the gel is remarkably similar. Now, we know the Remington's feature close to 230 foot-pounds of energy. The Honey Badger's about 210 foot-pounds of energy. And look at how they use them. Honey Badger, as in the past, has come to rest slightly base forward, indicating just a bit of yaw in the gel. Remington fully expanded. Actually pretty impressive. Pretty, pretty impressive performance by both rounds. Now let me Clear the Ruger, and we'll measure the uh, the penetration depth. Looks like get right to the end there. Just over 12 inches for the Remington, and just under 13 inches for the Honey Badger. Now let's take out those bullets and compare the expansion of the Remington versus the non-expansion of the Honey Badger. Now keep in mind, if the Honey Badger is actually tumbling, and I believe that it is, or yawing, and I'm pretty sure it is, then the way to compare them is the diameter of the expanded hollow point versus the height of the Honey Badger projectile, the, uh, the Lehigh Copper Solid projectile. And uh, yeah, I'd still say I'd rather be hit by the honey badger. All things can, all things, uh, all things being equal, but it's a close call. The honey badger has some sharp edges to it as well. All right, that looks really, really intriguing. 
That was the Honey Badger versus the Ultimate Defense Compact Handgun. Black Hills Ammunition versus Remington in 38 Special Plus P. Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR, signing off.